Hey guys, my name is Jitendra Singh and in this video I'm going to talk about how to integrate Microsoft Azure AD with Spring Security over to application. So Active AD is basically Microsoft Microsoft's provided cloud-based identity and access management service. In order to use Active AD, first thing we need to create one app registration in the Azure portal. So let's go and create one here let's go to portal.azure.com and here you can find the azure active directory go to app registrations and create one registration give it a name choose the accounts in your organization directory and personal microsoft account and also add one redirect uri and your redirect uri must start with https that's the only restriction in so for my demo I've already created one application this one is the application this is the client ID for my app and secret is here if you don't find any secret just hit on this new client secret and create one from here just go to this overview and hit on this endpoints so these are the or these are the some common endpoints which we need to you know configure our client registration so this is basically authorized uri this is our token uri which i need later to configure client registration now go ahead and create one spring boot app so uh, i'm using a gradle project and the spring dependencies are web security in oauth2 So this is the application now first step we need to configure our client registration now I'm going to create one application ML file to register client to first I'll configure the provider so this one is going to be this your ad so it's up to you whatever name you like so this will become the provider id now i need to configure authorization uri which i'll get from here now token uri which i'll get from here we need to configure one more endpoint jwk set uri so this is used to uh, validate the JWT token so because the token which we'll get from Azure that will be a signed one signed token discovery version 2.0 using same version and keys now I'll configure registration so the similar process first is the first registration ID so as your client now I'll assign provider so this is my provider I need to configure client ID which I'll get from environment variable client ID and client secret Now I need to configure one authorization grant type. So I'm using authorization code as grant type. <coughs> and here I need to redirect URI. So I can pass the complete URI, but I'm here using the template base URL login and it will be our the login and auth to code and registration id so the url which i've used login auth code is because i have configured uh, this redirect uri in my application configuration so 
so as you can see it here login over to code and as your client so it becomes the registration id i need one scope I need to configure scope as well so here i'm using open id now the configuration is configuration is done we'll have to configure the security as well so i'll add one class security config we'll extend it with the web security configuration adapter and it should be configuration and add enable web security i have to override one method which is to configure http security now uh http dot authorize request so i'll add all all what's to endpoints with permit all and to matches what to and one redirect which is configuring my redirect URL login with permit all and any request should be authenticated so, authenticated now one more thing i have to do is and enable auto login auto login for testing purpose i'll add one controller home controller so this is going to be my rest controller this works as home home input from the app now I'll make this endpoint as our default success URL default success url is home i hope that's it now i'll just run the application so this application i'll run from cli because i have configured my client id and client secret here so i'll just test go ready now i'll run the application <coughs> so i have a conf i have set up local nginx on uh https port which is 443 and my host name is blocks.jbs.com which i'll be using here for to login https um, blocks.jbs.com and this is home or i can use slash so as i've already logged into azure that's why it got redirected so it says provided parameter redirect URI is not valid redirect URI is okay screen is HTTP not HTTPS okay got it so I think we need to configure one we need to configure header forward strategy server dot forward header strategy is to meet it and now we start the application as you can see I'm using springboard version Two to six, which is I guess default or or latest one, because I haven't specified in the curl command. Okay, the app is running. So let me test it with the incognito logs.jvs.com. Okay, edit my ID. As well. Yep, that's it. Hello from security app. Okay, I got login. Let me just refresh this one and check whether it's working. Yep, it's working. Mm -hmm. Now let's print the logged in user's name. To do that, we have to make a few changes here first. I'll with the principal and use expression. So this expression will be executed in the principal 
authentication principle. So I'll access the claims and inside the claims I'll use the name and that will be passed to so user name or name so refer to this name hello now and I'll use this parameter hello username welcome to the security app username here and one more thing so in score we are only using open id now we will use profile as well to read users profile let's restart the application so it should fetch the user's name and they should get the username in the response Let's run the game. So as I've already logged in, so it's redirecting. Yep, correct. Welcome to the security app. So we can also pass the some other claims like sub and other GWT claims inside this one. So that's it for the video. You can find this code on my GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the description along with some resources resources related to active directory